Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I love doing thrift haul videos, garage sale haul videos. I have an antique booth in a local antique mall. I also sell on Poshmark, eBay, and Etsy. And today I do have another haul video for you. I went to two, I went to multiple garage sales two weeks in a row, two weekends in a row, and I found a ton of stuff. So I'm just going to pick up this camera and I'm going to walk you through my house because I've got all this stuff laid out and I have a ton of great finds. So let's get to it. So first up are these two beautiful needlepoint, vintage needlepoint pictures in frame and I got these for 75 cents each and I think they are so cute. The lady was, everything was half off at her garage sale. So this set was $3. So I got them for $1.50 as a set. So that's 75 cents a piece. And also at that yard sale, I found a 35 millimeter Canon lens. I do have a Canon camera, an old film camera, 35 millimeters. So I picked up this lens. I'm hoping it's in good condition. I did check it out. I opened it up. Look, take a look at it. Um, I talked to the husband and he said his camera just stopped working, but the lens should be in great condition um, in working order. Um, these cute little car coasters were $2.50 a piece. I know that's like retail, but they are new. Um, I got these simply because I it was a yard sale that was like buy eight items for $20, all new items. Um, and everything else was well worth $2.50 a piece. So I just picked up these two items because I couldn't find the last two items that I wanted. So I just picked up these two for fun. This item here is Ironstone. It is an old piece. I love it. Here, let me show you the back. It, I haven't looked it up yet, but it is England, from England, Meadow Sweet. So I'll take a look and see if that's worth it. It does have crazing on it, but I think it is a gorgeous ironstone piece. And let me show you this Noritake piece. It's just one dinner plate. But I thought the pattern was really beautiful, and I'll sell it as a replacement piece on Etsy. It is in the Savannah pattern. So I thought that was a great find for 25 cents. And I think this ironstone was 50 cents at that half off yard sale. And also at the half off yard sale for 25 or 50 cents, I picked up this cute bud vase I'll put in my booth. And at another yard sale, I picked up this depression glass. I love the windmill. I love this, this pattern. I think it's worth like um, maybe $20 online, but I did get it for $2. And this item I paid $7 for, it is copper. It is a Gregorian copper bowl, fluted edge. And I believe it is handmade. Um, it's marked on the bottom. I'll have to look that up. And the owner of this bowl said that he watched the guy make it. Now this reminded me of a copper coal scuttle that I had in my booth that I sold with the porcelain delft handles. And this is, I believe it's brass or is it copper? I think it's brass and copper. And it is a cash pot with porcelain handles. And I got that for about $7. And also at the same year, so I just got these little brass planters for fun. A dollar each. I probably could have low, got asked for a lower price, but I thought those were great. I collect brass items. And then for $2.50 each, I got these new pictures. I'll just put those in my booth just for decoration. But I mean, obviously I'll, I'll put them for sale as well. But I thought those are really pretty images of these flowers of the botanical. Um, they were originally $10 a piece. And then I just like the old Mishi purses. And this one, there is some damage to the cover, but 
The inside of the purse looks in really good condition. So the lining I will sell on Poshmark. And I think I have some of the covers for this size of purse. And now let's move on to the next area of my house. So I got this farm to market little wall hanging and vase, little bud vase for $250. Um, it's not worth much more than that, but I thought it was cute. And then I got this pedestal bowl. Um, I think I paid maybe $1 for it. Um, I'm going to like, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I mean, I'm going to sell it, but I don't know how I'm going to decorate it with it. Um, put flowers in it or candles or, or something, or maybe a, even a terrarium. I'm not, I don't know. If you have any ideas for this this uh piece let me know because i am not too sure what i'm gonna do with it yet and then this pampered chef book i actually got for free um and it is actually the the story of the company um and then these three pillows which are th two of them are themed for my area so i'll be putting them in my booth um, and then one just for camping in general. Um, I will, I got them, uh, for $2.50 a piece and they are new with tags. So I thought that was a great deal. So those are really fun. So, um, yeah, I think those will sell well. Um, and then moving on to the next area down the hall. So next up is you're going to see a lot of clocks. This next, um, a uh, yard sale had a lot of clocks. The lady who passed away and her daughter was selling a lot of her stuff um, had a f just loved clocks, collecting clocks. So we d I did get a number of clocks. Um, and this one is actually pretty heavy. And I got it for $2. Can you believe that? It is, it is really quite a large size clock. I haven't tested these clocks yet, but hopefully they do work. And then this sign, actually, considering all the, her prices are really great, this one was $4. I'm surprised it was so high. Um, and then this Easter picture was really cute. It needs some cleaning. It's got some splatter marks on the front of the glass. But I wish I had had this in my booth prior to Easter. But now I have it, so it'll be ready for next year. And then this cross, this iron cross, is really nice i love it so i think let's see what price i got it for i think it's on the bag i got it for 75 cents i think she actually gave it to me for 50 cents um and then i got this mirrored clock i haven't tested this one yet either but it's a good deep, you know large size as well and then this one you know this one actually is working right now i think let's see if it's ticking uh no it's kind of stuck so I'll have to see if it works better with a new battery. Um, but this one's a really fun piece. And then another clock. Let's see what I priced. This one was higher. This one was $4. Can you believe it? That big one down there was $2 and this one was $4. Um, and then I got this huge, heavy Shakespeare book for $1. It is awesome. I love it. I think I'll be putting it in my booth. I don't know. I kind of want to keep it. Um, and then I got these two bathroom pictures, which I think is really fun, kind of funny. Um, but they were 50 cents a piece. I don't know how I'll be putting them in my booth. It's kind of a funny thing, but I actually might hang them in my bathroom. Um, and then my parents picked this up at a yard sale. It is a fireplace cover screen. Oh, sorry for my fingers. Um, it, we cleaned it up. It is in really great shape. They got it for $5. I'm going to be putting that in my booth. Can you believe that? It's got some a little bit of color to it. It's, it's nice and good heaviness to it. Um, I think it's great. And then the last few items is this cute little picnic basket. So I'll show you what it looks like clothes. I don't have a lot of room in this hall, so I can't back up. Um, and then I got a security camera for $7, Wi-Fi security camera, and a Game of Thrones notebook. Couldn't pass that up. It was 50 cents. It's kind of small, but I love Game of Thrones and I love notebooks. I love stationery. It's just so great. I have so much. I don't even need it, but I could not pass it up. So anyway, that is everything.
Um, stay tuned for more hauls if you like this sort of content. And I definitely, you know, I definitely have more coming up. I went to Goodwill recently. I'll show you what all I got there. And I will have much more content in the future. So thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.